Uh, Neil, your reaction to uh, Mr. Bannon's position, what with its legal deficiencies that we'll get into a little later in our conversation, but what does it say about aspects of the system potentially working? Well, you know, I do think, Ari, it's a very interesting reversal from Steve Bannon. I mean, this is the one time that Steve Bannon has wanted to check his privilege, and it turns out he doesn't have any. Um, this is a guy who wasted three chances to do the right thing. He could have volunteered to testify. He could have testified after being subpoenaed or after the criminal referral. And we're now a week before his criminal trial, Ari, as you were saying. And now all of a sudden, he says he wants to do his duty. And I don't know what in the world Steve Bannon must have said to Donald Trump to allow him to waive this privilege that he's never even had in the first place, but I doubt it was an appeal to the greater good. So I agree with you that there's this fear component on the part of Bannon. He's got to, particularly after the judge's ruling today. But this has always felt to me like some sort of last ditch attempt by Bannon to try and get in the good graces of the judge and jury for his criminal trial, and perhaps also to try and turn the PR narrative in which the House January 6th committee has been so successful um, on in trying to get a Trump person to testify on live TV.